Oh, I gotta, gotta get a better system to make these videos with my phone. I've got it perched on a crappy Walmart toolbox, leaning up against four Made in USA Sears sockets. So let's see what you see here. I'm trying to figure out why the driver's door on my 1989 BMW 750iL. I don't read no stinking scripts when I make my videos. Just gotta figure out where I am. Anyways, the door lock was working perfectly. Turn the key, the door locked. Turn the key, door unlocked. Lock, unlock. So I sprayed some silicone spray in the lock cylinder, and all of a sudden my door latch lock mechanism isn't working. I can't lock the doors with the button, with the key, nothing. I never tried the remote, I don't know if it works, I never even tried it, but it was working perfectly using the lock knob. Just, let's see, no, it won't lock now because the door is in the open position. When you close the door, this is the frame of the vehicle, and you do this, you close the door and it goes snap, first latch, second latch. The door is now closed, latched, shut, and you push down the lock knob, and it does what? In the back here, got a little groove, and it snaps into that groove. If I could make it work, I think it's easy to do this when YouTube is watching. It should lock now. Whoop! Wasn't pushed all the way. Lock, unlock. And if I can show you what's happening here, that little button falls into that little groove, and you can't operate. The door handle it disables the door handle, but it wouldn't work. So I went to the Bimmer Forums website, and guys said, "Oh, it's all full of grease and grime and putrid slime." So I took it apart, took the door panel off. You think it's easy to take off a leather door panel without mangling it? I did not break one clip over here. Didn't break one. They sell 50 on Amazon, and they're rinky-dink 1980s clips. Didn't break one. I undid the armrest with three bolts from underneath using a whole bunch of long extensions and I got everything off unscathed putting it back together different story so we'll unlock the door which this thing didn't work it wouldn't go down because I think that something inside wasn't letting this close all the way but I sprayed silicone way up here several inches away into the lock just a little bit now this has got some electronic gizmo system. You would not believe what's doing inside that door. Solenoids and relays and micro switches and way too complicated. Hello, electronic nightmare. So this works properly now, but I think the problem is that when the door is unlocked and you hit the lever, that's what levers. Or on the inside, you pull on this cable. And the cable, if I can show it to you, it's attached to the door handle on the inside, and then it unlocks the door, and this thing goes, if the door is unlocked, yes it is, and this thing goes, what a crude video, unlock. But you notice at the very end of its travel, it doesn't seem to go all the way easily. Hear it binding? It's binding at the very end, and you can drill these little rivets and take off this plastic cover. I'm going to turn the light on here not toss the camera into the ground. Come on light, Whee! there we go. You can drill these rivets. Now some guy on the forum many years ago drilled those rivets and his thing looked like it was dragged through the mud like the cat dragged it home. But mine was really clean, had a tiny bit of dried grease here and there but it still doesn't latch smoothly right to the end. Unlock. That's like lifting the handle on the outside. Still not moving freely. So I wonder if my door wasn't closed all the way as if it was right there. And that could go another eighth of an inch, whatever that is in millimeters, centimeters, and hypo geronometers. And that still locks. Let's open the door. Pretend we're opening it slightly. Leave it right there. Oh, you heard that snap? Let's say my door wasn't closing quite all the way. This won't go down. Aha, see? Where are we? There we are. That won't go down until the door is closed all the YouTube way. Snap! 
And maybe it was, but now the rod goes up and down. So why wasn't my door able to lock with the key or with the lock rod? It wouldn't budge. I tried it many times of leaving my doors unlocked at Walmart. Not a good thing. People stock Walmarts looking for unlocked doors. I don't know where the police look for unlocked doors and put a ticket on your dashboard. So now I'll unlock this, lift the handle, which is what operates that, and unlock. I'm going to spray some more goopy inside. I'm going to show you what's inside this door. You will not believe what's inside this overpriced, over-engineered POS. Let's see if you can see what's inside there. There's where the lock mechanism goes, the latch mechanism goes right there. That bolt was rusted. Hard to believe, huh? But it was. A little bit of water got behind this molding. And it was rusty. But it came undone with a T30 Torx. So, look at all this crap up here. Cast aluminum bracket and it apparently breaks right there. Right where my thumb is. Snap. And when you turn the key on the outside, all kinds of things are spinning and winning. All kinds of nastiness in here. I think it gets disabled after a few turns. There's ways to override it. There's ways to put power to your license plate light. If you get locked out with the key working, you turn the key all the way, lift the handle up. While you're turning the key, turn the handle. Blah, 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 blah. Look at this, micro switches, all kinds of crap. That's why they lost the war, I suppose. Anyhow, I gotta put this back together. I gotta put my window guide back on and see if I can get all this stuff in the door. And I'm turning the camera off because you're not gonna listen to me swearing. <laughs> see if I can figure it out. Anybody want a Corvair?